Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. Many of you have been asking about the day-to-day -day activities of a DevOps engineer. Now I totally understand why you people are asking this question multiple times. It is because DevOps is about a lot of tools and technologies. You might be wondering how does a DevOps engineer manage so many tools and technologies on a daily basis. What are the day-to-day -day activities of a DevOps engineer? If these are your questions, please watch the video till the end because I'm going to explain you very clearly about the day-to-day -day activities and how does a DevOps engineer manage them. Okay, so for the purpose of video, let's take example of an organization. Let's say there is an organization called Amazon.com. Within this organization, usually there will be multiple projects. So there can be a project called payments. There can be a project called transactions and there can be projects like XYZ. And for each of this project, there will be dedicated development teams. So for a service called payments, development team payments is responsible for delivering new features, fixing the bugs and you know, creating any kind of enhancements related to that payment service. Similarly, the transactions development team is responsible for managing the transaction service or the transaction project. But when you come to DevOps team, DevOps teams are usually centralized. That means there will be one or couple of DevOps teams who are managing multiple projects. So let's say you have 10 projects. There can be two to three development teams which are managing this 10 projects. Or if you have only three projects in your organization, there will be one single DevOps team that is managing these three projects. That is the reason why DevOps teams receive a lot of requests on a daily basis because you are not working for a single team. You are not working for a single project, but you are working for multiple projects. So. How does this multiple projects create requests to the DevOps team? This might be your question, right? So how does this happen is let's say there is a payments project and the payments development team needs a Kubernetes cluster. So what do they do is they will approach the DevOps team and they will ask the DevOps team. Can you create a Kubernetes cluster for them? Transaction team might need help of you for creating some infrastructure on AWS using Terraform. So this transaction team creates a request to you asking you to create a Terraform project which can create EC2 instance plus S3 bucket. For example, XYZ team creates a request for you asking to set up a GitHub webhook. So these are some examples, but how do they create request? So what happens is in organizations, Usually there will be some project management tools such as Jira or you can also have uh, some tools like service now. So these teams come to the Jira dashboard. They will go to the DevOps teams Jira dashboard or the Jira project and they will log the tickets inside this Jira board, right? So project team called payments. They will log into the Jira dashboard. They'll navigate to the project Jira of DevOps team and they'll create a request for Kubernetes cluster. Similarly, if they have 100 requests, all the 100 requests will be created in the Jira dashboard. Now, once a DevOps engineer logs into the Jira dashboard, that DevOps engineer can see list of all the Jira tickets that they have to work on. Now, if you are working for three projects as a DevOps team, you will have some 100 requests. If you're working for one project, you might have some 10 requests. If you're working for 100 projects, I'm just giving an example. There can be some 1000 requests for you. But what's important to understand is how does this DevOps team because DevOps team are getting requests from multiple projects. How does this DevOps team understand the priority of the tickets? How does DevOps team understand if the Kubernetes cluster creation request by transaction team is important or a IAM user creation by the XYZ team is important. For that, there will be a process or there is a methodology that is followed by the organizations called Agile methodology. And as part of the Agile methodology, there will be a scrum master, 
there will be a product owner who are responsible like product owner is usually responsible for defining the priority of the tickets so devops engineering team they can set up meetings such as backlog grooming they will invite the product owner and they will ask the product owner that there are some 100 requests can you define the priority can you say what are the first 10 tasks that we have to pick up and usually in the, the agile methodology devops team work in some shorter sprints that means devops team say that okay so for the next two weeks we are going to work on the top 10 items that are provided by the product owner now in this two weeks we will try we will try to complete this 10 activities next they will go back once the two weeks is done they will see if the 10 tickets are completed or not if they are not completed they will take them to the next sprint if they are completed then again they will ask the product owner what is the priority which tickets we have to pick so who decides the activities that devops engineering team has to work on it's the product owner so product owner is usually a designation there will be a dedicated product owners there can be one product owner or multiple product owners so this is how devops engineering team will understand the priority now let's talk about the tickets so but abhishek what kind of tickets that devops engineering team receive i gave you some example but let's talk about more examples so the tickets can be as simple as for example the xyz project team they can come to your jira dashboard and they can request a ticket asking to create 10 im users so they might have 10 new users or 10 people might have joined that project and they will come to the jira dashboard because they don't have access to create the im users and permissions to the im users they will log in a ticket and they will provide the usernames and what permissions are required so the task can be as simple as that but it can also be very complicated such as the transaction team might come to the jira dashboard and they might ask you uh, abhishek or the devops team can you set up the kubernetes cluster with service mesh configuration or they might come to you and say that hey can you set up prometheus and grafana for our applications so you will talk to the product owner and you will see what are the activities and how to solve them and the best example that i can give you is whenever we are doing this 45 days free devops course or 30 days free aws course all the tasks that i am doing for example the cost optimization vpc setup terraform to create the ec2 instances in public subnet and private subnet i have done videos related to compliance kubernetes security all of these tasks that i am doing or all of the videos that i am doing are the day to day tasks of devops engineer i am inspired from the day to day activities of devops engineer to create the videos on my youtube channel all the ideas that i get are basically the day to day activities of devops engineers so that's the reason why i ask you to please perform the demos so that when you join the organizations as devops engineer this will be your day to day activities now i am not saying you that these are the exact day to day activities but they will be very close to what you try to perform on the real organization once you join them eks cluster creation that we have done it is a activity that devops engineers perform terraform project that we have written to create vpc and the instances it is a project that devops sorry it's a task that devops engineer does so that's why please try to perform the demos that we are doing and those are your day to day activities so don't get confused don't think too much okay there are so many tools and technologies what will be the day to day activities so devops engineering team might get hundreds of requests but there is agile methodology there is project management you will work with your scrum master you will work with your product owner you will work your you will work with your manager to understand what is priority and they will decide the priority all that you need to do is you need to pick up the tasks that are available in your sprint okay i hope you get it and what i am going to do is i am also going to invite a scrum master a product uh, manager into our channel and we are going to do a dedicated project management video in the next week where that person along with me we will be talking about the project management agile methodology we will create a dummy jira dashboard i'll show you how the tasks are created and how 
they are picked up by the devops engineer so don't worry about that we will do a practical demonstration as well i hope you like today's video if you have any questions or feedback do let me know in the comment section i'm more than happy to help you thank you everyone see you all in the next video take care